Hi kids today we are going to learn about the interdependence of living things Do you depend on your mom and dad for survival Yes you depend on them to provide you food to provide you shelter and to take care of your day to day needs So you are dependent on your parents Well Perhaps you have not thought about this before but we all are interdependent on each other all organisms in this world depend on each other directly or indirectly for survival not only that we also depend on non living things like water sunlight and air for survival So what is interdependence in nature Interdependence is the relationship between living things and between living and non-living things for survival For example deer eats grass and the deer in turn is eaten by predators like the lion this is the relationship between living things at the same time plants need water sunlight and air to make their own food and so do we we also need water sunlight and air for survival so this is an example of the relationship between living and non living things so the relationship between living things and between living and non living things for survival is called interdependence concept of food chain A food chain is a chain through which organisms depend on each other for food. As an example, leaves are eaten by the caterpillar. Caterpillar is eaten by the frog. Frog is eaten by the snake, and the snake in turn may be eaten by the eagle. So all these organisms, the plant, the caterpillar, snake, and the eagle form part of a single food chain now within this food chain there are three main characters producers are of course the plants because they are the only living thing which can produce their own food without depending on anyone else directly so the plant needs air sunlight water minerals from the soil and it is able to make its own food through the process of photosynthesis so plants are the producers all other living beings which directly depend for their food from plants or indirectly depend on plants for their food are called consumers consumers includes herbivores and carnivores as you already know herbivores eat plants as food and carnivores in turn eat herbivores for food so consumers consume plants either directly or indirectly then there is a third part of the food chain which we don't really want to notice but are important part of nature's life cycle and that are, is the process of decomposition there are microorganisms present in the soil which decompose or decay the dead bodies of animals into nutrients these nutrients are of course then used by plants and trees to grow 
these tiny organisms or microorganisms are called decomposers examples of decomposers include fungi bacteria and certain worms present in the soil Look at this picture. You need to identify the producer, consumer and decomposer. You have 10 seconds to decide. The answer is grass falls in the category of producer grasshopper mouse snake eagle are the consumers and the fungi falls in the category of decomposer just like a spider's web consists of interconnected threads there is a web like interconnection in nature on the left side you see a single food chain on the right side you see multiple food chains which are interlinked these interlinked food chains form a food web now we've talked about interdependence in nature but our producers that is the plants and trees dependent on other living things you know about the process of photosynthesis whereby plants produce their own food by taking in sunshine by absorbing water from the roots and by absorbing carbon dioxide from the air during the process of photosynthesis plants give out oxygen and they also produce food for us in the form of fruits the question is where do plants get this carbon dioxide from the answer is of course other living things humans and animals are the main source of carbon dioxide for plants so the answer is yes plants depend on other living beings for carbon dioxide now Let's do a quick summary of the chapter. All living organisms depend on other living organisms and non-living components in nature for their survival. Nature has producers, consumers and decomposers. Multiple food chains that are interlinked form a food web. Plants also depend on other living things for carbon dioxide during the process of photosynthesis. And that's it for today. It's time for a quick dance with your mom and some bae. Let's